Good evening and welcome to worship. Good evening. It's great to see everybody here this evening and it's great to see those of you who are, um, who are worshiping with us virtually. Um, this evening we are going to spend some time with a rhythm of sound and silence. We're going to take some time to sink into our breath um, and just let the busyness of the day go and sink into and rest into God's promises. Let's begin. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, that guards our hearts and minds, and the joy and consolation of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Generous God, you provide all that we need. We thank you that you do not give us what we want, but what you, in your wisdom, desire for us. Open us to the miracles surrounding us every moment and teach us to expect your coming throughout each day. Pour out upon us your overflowing mercy, justice, and peace. Teach us to trust your abundance so thoroughly that we share all that we have received from you for the healing of the world and the proclamation of your name in the name of the Holy One who was, who is, and who is to come. Amen. We often miss the presence of God because we look for the wrong things. Whether hoping for easy miracles or wearing ourselves out working for transformation in a broken world, we may miss the signs that God is coming and has indeed already come. We might think our encounter with God must come as a profound emotional experience. And we spend our energy seeking such an experience more than we seek God's own self. To prepare ourselves to receive the Savior and the disruption the Savior's coming brings, we lay down our own agendas and expectations and learn to open ourselves to what God brings rather than focusing on what we want or expect. God's coming into the world never fulfills human expectation. It fulfills God's expectation. I invite you to take just a moment to quiet yourself for the evening prayer to sink and rest into God's presence and God's embrace. And we will end this very short period of silence with the striking of the singing bowl.
to the entrance of the temple. There, water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. And the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gate that faces toward the east, and the water was coming out on the south side. Going on eastward with a cord in his hand, the man measured 1,000 cubits and then led me through the water and it was ankle deep. Again, he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again, he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again, he measured 1,000 and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be crossed. And he said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on the one side and on the other. He said to me, the water flows toward the eastern region and it goes down into the Arabah. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Whatever Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be very many fish. Once these waters reach there, it will become fresh, and everything will live where the river goes. People will stand fishing beside the sea. From En Gedi to En Glaim, it will be a place for the spreading of nets. Its fish will be of a great many kind, like the fish of the great sea. But its swamps and its marshes will not become fresh. They are to be left for salt. On the banks, on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing. The word of the Lord. As we listen to this prophecy from the prophet Ezekiel, we can't help 
but think of the way that God makes us his own through holy baptism. The way that God makes us his own through holy baptism. He leads us to the waters of life and bids us enter. And as we rise up out of the waters of life, we are a new creation. And this is completely a gift of God's grace. This evening, I would like to lead you through a guided meditation. And I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and to see in your mind's eye where the guided meditation is leading you. And at the very end of that, we'll have a little bit of silence and I will close with something and then invite you to open your eyes once again. So close your eyes. Notice your body as you're sitting in the pew, at home on the chair or the couch. Notice how supported you are the earth beneath your feet, whatever you're sitting on beneath your seat, however your back is supported. Your arms also might be resting on the arms of a chair or couch, perhaps on your thighs. You might notice your hands. Notice them without judgment. They may be resting palms down, or they may be resting with open palms. Either way, you will receive this evening whatever kind of energy you need, whether it be for healing, for grounding, for resilience, or perhaps simply for blessing. Now notice your breath as you breathe in and breathe out. You might even want to take a deep breath in and release the breath in an exhale with your mouth open before returning to a more natural breathing rhythm. Notice the breath you receive with each breath. The breath you receive is the very life force of God. Notice also that part of receiving is also releasing or giving back. We give back that breath that we have received so that it might be transformed into the breath of life for other beings. I invite you to let go of your day, and if you notice distractions, noises, thoughts, just notice them without judgment and let them go. This is a time for you to rest, and this time is yours. in your mind's eye, I want you to see yourself standing beside a river. Notice what the river looks like, whether it's calm, swiftly moving, whether it's narrow or wide. Notice the flow of the water as it moves along its course. Perhaps there are rocks or boulders in the river that the water
water in surround. Notice the landscape through which the river flows. Feel the breeze on your face, the wind lifting your hair or touching your skin. Now see yourself receiving an invitation to take a step closer to the edge of the river. Notice how that feels. Perhaps there's exhilaration. Perhaps there's calm. Perhaps there may be even a little bit of fear. Trust the invitation that is calling you toward the river. Now take another step toward the river. You look down and you notice your feet are bare. You feel your toes moving through the sandy edge of the river. It feels cool and refreshing. voice calls to you and bids you to take another step and you notice this third step will take your foot into the river. You set your foot down and you feel the firmness of the sand, the wet sand beneath your feet. Trusting the purchase upon which you stand, you bring your other foot along with you until you have stepped both feet into the river, ankle deep. Notice how the water feels as it pools around your ankles. Notice what it feels like to be in the river. Notice what it feels like to respond to the invitation that continues to propel you forward. Take another step, the voice says. This time, your step feels more assured and you take another step bringing your second foot along with the first. And you notice you are now knee deep. The voice continues to lead you through the water and you take another step and then another, and you are in the middle of the river, waist deep. You notice a presence next to you, and the presence invites you to trust its arms, And you allow yourself to release control of your standing and to be received in the arms of your companion. Very slowly, the arms lead you toward the water. There, your eyes closed, you 
hold your breath for a moment as you are lowered into the water once, twice, three times. You rise up out of the water and open your eyes and the world looks brand new. You notice the sky above you. You hear a voice in your head. You are my beloved child. I will always be with you. And the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God, and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life, with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore. But the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They will need no light of lamp or sun. For the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. I invite you to take a few more breaths here, held by this beautiful light, held by the water. See yourself moving back to the side of the river, knee deep, ankle deep, stepping on dry ground, welcomed by friends. Embraced in a light that never recedes into darkness. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes. And it might feel good to just allow your gaze to be downward just a minute before looking up again. In Romans, Paul tells us the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. You gather our many prayers into one, O oh God, and we pray. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful life.
Thank you for the breath which fills our lungs. Thank you for the love that surrounds and fills us. Thank you for the gifts of family and friends and church and community. Thank you for the gift of the planet and all the beings, human and otherwise, that share the breath of life. We praise you this day for your goodness. We trust the promises with which you bless our lives and fill us with hope. God of wonder, as you give us as a gift to each other, you also call us into a life of grace and service. We pray for all of those who need your presence this day. And as our hearts and spirits are filled with prayer, our minds are filled with all of the things that concern us, the things and the people. And we lift them to you and trust them to your mercy. We pray for peace on earth. We pray for hope among the hopeless. We pray for joy among those who are mourning. And we pray for love, love that we receive, love that we share, love that we take for granted, and love that we dare. God of new life, you have made us your own through the sacrament of holy baptism. You nourish us with the word and the sacrament of holy communion. We give you thanks that your grace gives us these gifts. And we pray that as we are called, receive a new name, a new claim, a new life, that you enable us to receive all of these gifts with grace, that we might welcome as you welcome, serve as you serve, and live together amicably and in peace with those who share our call. God of holy promises, here in the season of Advent, you fill the night sky with twinkling points of light. You fill our sanctuary with candlelight. You fill our hearts with the light of faith. As you enter into our human experience, help us to remember that you are in the darkness as well as in the light, and that there is nowhere that is away from your presence. Into your wide embrace, O oh God, we place all our prayers, spoken and unspoken, trusting that you will receive them into the heart of mercy. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Lord, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We pray with our hearts, our spirits, our minds, and our bodies. And I invite you in this last tiny bit of silence to join me in a prayer expression. As we inhale, as we inhale, we'll hold our arms in front of us with our fists closed and palms down. As we exhale, we'll open our hands with our palms up in a gesture of receiving. And we will continue to do that through the silence. And at some point, I'll invite you simply to let go of the need to hold and to continue to breathe with your hands open. Inhaling with our arms in front of us, fists closed. Exhale and open. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue at your own speed, your own rhythm. Breathing. Releasing and receiving. Until you let go of the need to hold. And allow your hands to remain open through all of the breath. And receive. 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 Christ 
Jesus, for whom we wait. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And Lord, also with you. Let us depart in peace.